This is Rio, the star pupil of Ron Schusterman at Santa Cruz. Risky animal. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Ron insists that Rio can understand abstract concepts without the aid of any language. Today, she'll show us that she gets the concept of groups or classes. Backstage, they set out cards with one of either 13 letters or 13 numbers. First, Rio's task is to pick just the letters. Learning the letters was an arduous process. It took Rio thousands of trials over more than a year. The first time she goes through this, she just sees a bunch of symbols. That's right. She doesn't know which one's a letter, which one's a number. That's right. Th those are terms we use. That's right. right. So, so she looks at these, she gets, keeps getting reinforced every time she chooses, let's say, a letter. That's right. Once she's consistent at that, then she forms a class. To learn numbers, the reward for letters suddenly stops. No. Rio doesn't like that at all. And, uh, it's and kind of like yeah, a complaint. Then, yeah, it is a complaint. You yeah, know, where is the food? No number, no reward. Yeah. Rio takes a swim break. Finally, Rio starts picking numbers and she'll continue as long as she's rewarded. By the way, some letters and numbers have extra features, so they're more distinctive. Remember, to Rio, they're just shapes that belong in one abstract group or the other. Today, Ron's going to add a new number. It's actually the number sign. Now, this is the brand new number. This is a number she's never seen she's before? She's never seen before, right. And I'll tell you why, if she gets it correct. Rio has to include the number sign in the number group. Right now, she's getting rewarded for not picking letters. Wow. Oh, she almost nice. didn't get it. Yeah, no, she but that was really correct. nice. You yeah. could see her mind working. There. Yeah, yeah. She uses what we call exclusion. She knows all the letters. She knows the letter set. Don't go to the letter. So whatever that novel thing is, go to that. It's a better bet for her. To add a new letter, they first stop rewarding for numbers. Once again, she takes a break. So now she's in there in the water. She's thinking, they're switching them on me now. That's correct. That's correct. And she, if she gets the idea, she might go for. Uh, it it a might take right a few. That's nah, hard, hard to know. She went to yeah. another number. Okay, so now now she's had two wrong. Yeah. She got to get the idea now. Well, maybe. <laughs> on the right is a number, by the way. Aha! Uh -huh. The old light bulb is going on. Now she's shown the new letter, N. She knows that eight isn't a letter, so again, she picks the N by exclusion. Okay, not bad. Next, we're really going to challenge Rio's understanding of the two groups. This time, there's a symbol in the center, and Rio has to find the match from the same group. Now Rio must be prepared to change the group every time. So B goes with J. Right. B didn't go with nine. Right. Right. So so by the way, I is... got that, and I wasn't getting a herring. Here's that new number sign she just learned. <laughs> Whoa. That was great. That was great. You can almost see her thinking. Then she gets the same number sign again. Now watch what happens. Remember, she just got rewarded for this. This is, this is, uh, you're starting to get to me with this. <laughs> she just got rewarded for choosing the number sign in a different circumstance. That's right. It is now not in the right class. That's right. And she doesn't go for it, even though she just got a reward Yay, for Bob. it. Yes. Okay, okay, I'll come. This is really making an impression on me now. Ron's research has left little doubt that Rio can work with the abstract concept of class or groups, and there's no language involved. Are you saying that in some way these animals are reasoning? Yes. I'm saying they're reasoning, and they're reasoning without language. I mean, that seems like an extraordinary conclusion to come to. I mean, I can see how you came to it, but it's, isn't that, doesn't that strike you sometimes? Don't you say to yourself, gee, I... 
I'm operating on the idea that these animals are thinking and, and reasoning. Well, I didn't always believe that. Well, it must have, must have, when you finally realized you believed it, you must have said to yourself, yeah. what an extraordinary thing to think. That's correct, I did. We can only speculate how sea lions in the wild might use this ability to form abstract groups. Ron suspects that classifying helps sea lions sort out the many individuals they encounter, labeling them as friend or foe, family or non-family, and so on. In other words, it's an essential part of being a sea lion. Hi, sweetie. Here's Sally Boyson, whom we first met with her pig, Hamlet. Sally's main work is with chimpanzees, and she thinks they can handle abstract concepts with ease. We're going to run a hide-and-seek experiment using a scale model room and a matching real room that's just a few feet away. Sally says the chimps can get the connection between the two, that one can be a symbol for the other. Here's our little miniature room, and we have a replica of that cupboard and a little chair right here, blue tub. We have a miniature tree here. And this little can here. That's, that's the item we're going to hide. A little oh, bit. I see. They'll watch as we hide this like under the blue tub. Yeah. And then I go in the real room and mm -hmm. hide a real can of soda. And then the chimp has to pay attention to where we hid it here and then find it in the same place inside. And what's the real room look like compared to this? Bigger. Yes, right. <laughs> Everything in the model has its full-scale counterpart. That doesn't open? Yeah, it does. The it chimps does. know how to, to be open a chimp. it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just go like this. Oh, it's kind of an IQ test. What can I say? Whoops. Yeah. We're going to be working with strong, full-grown animals. You stay out here. Right. You're going to be in there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, you're safe in there? Sure. But don't try this at home. OK. I've got a chimp at home. Miss Sheba. Very nice. OK, she has to get a little rowdy here. <laughs> this is so much fun, isn't it? Sheba is 17 years old, raised from age two by Sally. That was cute. That was very impressive. Come on, let's go talk about the scale model study. Oh, real nice. You know, I've worked with actors like this before. <laughs> I have to admit, Sheba's not striking me as much of an intellectual yet. OK, I've got some real Pepsi for you, all right? All right, where should we hide it? I'm going to take this little one. Are you watching me? Yeah, I'm going to put it in here. OK, watch. Put it right in here. I get it right in there, OK? So we put it in here. Shall I show you again? Look. Oh, I put it right in here. Isn't that cool? I know I have makeup on. See my lips? I know I have different makeup on. Now, you see that? We're going to keep on going. OK, now you stay right here. OK, I'll be right back. I'm going to hide this real one for you, OK? Stay right there. Stay there. Where is it? Where do we put it? In here, right. There's the little one. OK, go find the real one for me. Hurry, hurry. See if you can find it. Here's Big Snoopy, and this is his little friend. This is little Now look Snoopy. at how a two-and-a-half-year-old human does game. in the same experiment. Okay. okay, look, I'm hiding little Snoopy. This experiment has been tried with hundreds of children. You wait here while I go hide Big Snoopy. I'm going to hide him in the same place in his room, okay? And I'll go find him. Okay. Okay, Amos. Big Snoopy's ready. Can you come find him? Remember, he's hiding in the same place in his room that little Snoopy's hiding in. Yes, he's hiding. 
Remember, Big Snoopy's hiding in Until the about place. age three, kids hiding. never get that the model symbolizes the real room. Sheeb, that's where I put the little can. See it? Okay, I'm gonna go hide the real one. So in one way, Sheba one. is sharper than thing. the average two-and-a-half-year-old right human. Don't cheat. I'll be right back. There's no doubt that I'll Sheba right sees back. the model as representing the real room. And if that isn't abstract thinking, I don't know what is. Okay, I hit it. Where is it? Where'd I hide it? Can you remind me? Remind me where I put it. Right there. Okay, see if you can get it for me. Hurry. Go on.